on air, online, on the go. West Michigan's news leader is 24 Hour News 8. A speedboat going up in flames on a West Michigan lake. Three kids and two adults hurt after something sparked an explosion on the boat. 24 Hour News 8's Megan Stemble talking to eyewitnesses who saw the aftermath on Eagle Lake near Matawan. That explosion happened around 4 o'clock here at the public access site to Eagle Lake. A neighbor didn't see the explosion, but he certainly saw the aftermath. He took home video of it, and he shared that with us tonight. And all of a sudden, our house shook. We, uh, we felt like there was an earthquake or a bomb went off by our house. And um, we woke up, and I looked outside and saw a boat on fire. And I just rushed outside to to see what was going on. What Gary Watts heard was not a bomb, nor an earthquake, but the explosion of an 18-foot speedboat. This is what he saw looking out his front window, the view just a few dozen feet from the public access site to Eagle Lake. Police say a family of five had just put the boat in the water. The wife started the engine, and the boat burst into flames. A friend of the family told Watts the boat had been having mechanical issues recently. He supposedly had been having some uh, engine troubles, and. I guess he had a lot more trouble than everyone thought. Three kids on the boat suffered first and second degree burns, according to the Kalamazoo County Sheriff's Department. As they were transported to the hospital, the boat drifted down the lake before coming to rest about 75 yards away. That's where fire crews were able to extinguish the flaming watercraft. In Matawan, I'm Megan Stemble, 24 Hour News 8. Thanks, Megan. Now, just a few minutes ago, new information coming into our newsroom. Police have now identified the people that were on that speedboat. They tell us Pam Collins, a 37-year-old Kalamazoo woman, along with Heather Frost, a 36-year-old woman from Howe, Indiana, and Frost, three children, ages 14, 7, and 5, were all hurt. Two other people in the party were not in the boat and were not injured. Again, all of the victims are expected to recover.